Freedom of expression underpins all other human emotions. We have the unique gift of speech and language. With our language, we express our feelings, thoughts and emotions. The UK has a vibrant culture. People come here from all walks of life and want to fit in with the local society. CSV Media Clubhouse offers accredited courses in English language. These qualifications are essential for the settlement in this country. Some have to overcome the language barrier to mix with their community. I think it's very important that people um, learn the language of the country that they're living in um, so that they then can help their own development really and they take a much more active role rather than um, always having to go through an interpreter or somebody else like their husband. And I think it, it fosters independence and it encourages them to take part in, in lots of things. Well, we have um, five different levels in ESOL, starting at entry one, um, then we have entry two, entry three, level one and level two. Entry one is, is for beginners and level two are, are for people whose level of English is similar to um, that of young people leaving school in this country. Formal education is necessary, but practice is essential outside the classroom. Chat and chill sessions help the women practice verbal English in an informal setting. Ipswich Library and CSV Media Clubhouse started chat and chill activity two and a half years ago. Uh, this activity is meant for women who uh, speak uh, English as an additional language and who has come to United Kingdom recently and uh, are taking steps to integrate with this community. The group was set up initially to do um, uh, the reading activity where women can come here and we can show them various options they have here in the library. They can borrow books which will help them take up ESOL classes in CSV Media and various things that are doing. Tell me and I'll forget, show me and I'll remember, involve me and I'll understand. Has everybody got a fruit in their hand? Yes. So let's talk about something about the fruit that you have got in your hand. Okay. Someone who has recently started learning English, they can choose a book from Cambridge series uh, which is meant for starter level or a beginner and they can take the book home. The book comes with a CD which they can take home and listen to it. Uh, we make sure that uh, we give equal importance to reading, listening and speaking in English because we think that that will bring confidence when they go out in the community, um, go to the shops or go to the surgery, uh, then uh, it will help them uh, speak to various people. Uh, I come to the England. I don't know English. Uh, I started CSV, it's all class. Uh, I learn English. No, uh, I can speak in English. I can go to the hospital. My son ill, he's asthma. Uh, every time I, I uh, go to hospital for my son, uh, I don't speak English. Uh, it's doctors and uh, for appointments. No, I can uh, take the appointments. My name is Indika. I come from Sri Lanka. I like to uh, improve my English more. Uh, Sometimes I go to doctor with my sons. Uh, early I go to the doctor with my husband. Husband say everything. Uh, some. Uh, 
sometimes doctors uh, don't understand me because my husband say my problems now i can uh, said all things mm, i like here yeah. the group of volunteers and i choose books um, which will help women are uh, to go in the supermarkets or if they go to a surgery uh, then they will know the they will know certain keywords which will help them get along uh, when they are on their own um, or when they go to school uh, um, to their kids uh, kids school and meet the teachers then there are certain things that they need to speak to the teacher um, so we try uh, to have virtual environment or virtual activity where they can have a conversation with the volunteers um, and uh, they will find out a way uh, to communicate Uh, with the teachers or communicate with the doctors um, and we found that this activity was really helpful and we got uh, we have received very good feedback i think that um, there's something to be said for all ways of learning i think that it shouldn't all be formal i think informal learning is is um, great fun and sometimes they don't even realize that they're learning but they get together with other people um that are from different countries and they get the chance to practice their english doing something that they enjoy so i think um there's something to be said for both ways experience tells you what to do confidence allows you to do it it's just an attempt to move a step forward to bring out their talents and to participate confidently with the society In the words of the Nobel laureate Tagore, where the mind is without fear and the head is held high into that heaven of freedom, let me awake.